Hey guys, so welcome to this follow-up video of the last one, which was dealing with fluoride. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about the ways that you can avoid fluoride, okay? What, which products should you look out for? Which, what kind of things should you look for, right? When wanting to avoid this fluoride, which is really a poison. It's not something that you want to be putting into your body because of all the reasons that we talked about in the last video, which you guys can go watch down below in the description. And also there will be a video of it um, here at the end of this video. So some things that you want to be aware of if you're wanting to avoid fluoride when you're going out getting your groceries is you want to understand that there's natural fluoride in natural water like spring water, uh, fruits, vegetables, and other natural foods. They have low levels of natural fluoride, okay? It's natural. It's not the same kind of fluoride that we were talking about in the last video. The other thing is here that if you eat a lot of processed foods, okay, they're going to contain a lot more fluoridated, um, maybe perhaps water or fluoride in it. So you want to watch the processed foods. Um, liquid foods have more fluoride than solid foods. Um, soda, sports drinks, beer, wine, and other flavored beverages contain fluoride. And uh, a lot of times they can have a concentration of about 0 0.5 to 1 parts per million. So when at all possible you want to basically limit those things and instead drink a lot of natural spring water. Um, fluoride levels apparently according to this uh, website are lower in organic foods. Um, fluoride is high in processed meats like I was talking about before. And some other things that you can do to avoid your exposure to fluoride is you can stop drinking fluoridated water. So you can get either a filter that filters out the fluoride or you can find a natural spring in your area and bottle your own water or you can purchase spring water at the store. Um, you can get rid of your fluoridated toothpaste, okay? So buy a toothpaste that's fluoride free. Don't get fluoride gel from the dentist. Um, you can eat more fresh and local food instead of processed food. You can reduce your tea consumption because unfortunately if you drink a lot of tea that also contains a lot of fluoride. Um, however, I'd have to do a little bit more research with that because I'm not sure whether the tea contains bad fluoride or good fluoride. So, something that you might want to look more into until I have a video on that. Also, you want to avoid cooking with non-stick pans. You may want to go for like a cast iron pan um, or stainless steel. You, want, you don't want to take Cipro and you want to be careful of taking fluoridated pharmaceuticals. You want, to minus, you want to minimize your consumption of mechanically deboned chicken. So yeah, a lot of these like processed meats in the frozen areas of grocery stores have mechanically um, deboned chicken and other processed meats. And you want to avoid fluoridated salt. So go for like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan pink sea salt. Also, you can watch my video on what is the truth about salt, which is another very good reason um, that you should be consuming real salt. So those are some ways, guys, that you can avoid fluoride, things to watch out for. And uh, it's it, it'll take a little bit of being just more you know self-aware of a lot of these different things. And of course, you know, you could do a little bit at a time, but I think overall if you just kind of minimize and limit the consumption of fluoride and just really get it out of your diet, I think you're going to overall be a lot healthier. And perhaps a lot of things that maybe you're struggling with, maybe you have, um, you know, health issues, they may be contributed 
um, by the fluoride. So you might want to try to knock that fluoride out and see what happens to your health. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.